This is the story of Harry, a great horned owl who appeared one morning, collapsed in her front yard, emaciated, eyes swollen and shut with pus. He was barely alive. We rushed him to the hospital. On arrival, he was cold and poorly responsive, couldn't maintain his body temperature. We placed him in a bird brooder, took full body x-rays, did cytology of a necrotic lesion in his mouth and ran blood work. He had trichomoniasis, a severe parasitic infection. Harry was too weak to eat on his own, so we began tube feeding him three times daily, put him on carnitazole for the parasite, general anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, topical ophthalmic meds, as well as anti-inflammatories for pain and sub-Q fluids daily. In the following days and weeks, he began to improve and became much stronger. His eyes opened and were clear. For a while, we had real hope. But over time, the uveitis resumed. We experienced a loss in our family and had to go out of town. Harry was transferred to a licensed rehabilitator. He initially dropped his oral lesion, ate two mice, and spent a night in the mews outside. However, once his medication dose was lowered as is standard after the lesion is dropped, he suddenly became very weak, the eyes swelled up again, the uveitis was back. We now believe that he had meningitis all along in the brain and deeper tissues. It's with great sadness we report that the night before our funeral, Harry passed away. This reminds us of how fragile our native wildlife can be and how we can help them by keeping water fountains and bird baths clean and free of disease. We are deeply grateful to Wild at Heart Raptor Rescue and Crystal's Critter Haven for their compassion and dedication to all sick and injured wildlife and to all of you who sent prayers for Harry. We had hoped to see Harry fly free again. Instead, we carry his memory with us forever. He was a majestic creature who taught us patience, resilience, and the humbling limits of veterinary medicine. We can't save every soul, but we can learn from everyone and continue to try. Fly free, Harry.